So, so thank you very much, Chairman, for the kind invitation. Can everyone hear me also at the end of the room? Yes? Okay, perfect. So I will uh, today give a talk about basic principles behind uh, time delay systems. So I start with some motivating examples, then move to some basic properties, and then I will, we will make it a bit more technical and talk about control-induced uh, reduction methods. It's now unclear, but I hope to make it, to clarify it later on. And at the end, if I have some time, I will talk a bit about some applications in the context of vibration control, which we've been working on. And I end with some conclusions. A bit of central theme is that uh, I don't want to be negative now, so I will try to talk about benefits of using delays. Many associate delays with bad behavior, instability, but I want to take a bit the, the other point of view. Another thing is that I will try to, to make things as simple as possible. It's quite a challenge. In one hour, there is the lunch time. You're all hungry. So I will try to give you already an appetizer and hope that it can be easily digested. All right, so let's start up some motivating examples. You find many applications of delay problems in the context of networks. Just to, to, to make the setting a bit, bit clear, I will talk about continuous time problems and with the delay equation. Uh, I just mean, make, make it simple, an equation, a functional differential equation where the right hand side, it's a functional, it depends, for instance, on the current value of x, but also at x at instances in the past. And an example of networks, yeah, when you study interactions of neurons, so they are coupled uh, via a synaptic coupling, it's some kind of chemical information transmission, and it, it can be quite well modeled by time delays, delays in the differential equations. And that's here an example where you see uh, the spiking behaviors of neurons in a synchronous way. Other example, yeah, it's the, the bad example, traffic jam. If you have traffic, uh, what, why do you have jams? One of the contributing factors is that, uh, okay, a car is stopping, you react with a delay, the other reacts with an, an, another delay, and you get some time, kind of unstable wave that leads you to everyone standing still at some point. But of course, you can also take the opposite way, uh, so my, my colleagues in Eindhoven have done a lot of interesting work on cooperative adaptive cruise control. Cooperative means that to make uh, the traffic control more efficient, that cars need to communicate. And also in, in various standard model 